under caution for a pretty big one at Talladega Super Speedway just past the tri-oval headed to turn one just moments ago and here is what happened you see the 78 of Weatherman moves up the racetrack it opens up the bottom for Gregson but I don't think Will Kimmel knew that they were three wide you see him squeezing the 78 of Weatherman I'm not sure why Weatherman came off the bottom and opened up the bottom and allowed the 55 of Gregson to get there yeah it just looks like a, a an error there you know that you got to protect that yellow line here you got to stay on the bottom I mean it's just it's tight racing there and you know you're just trying to move up and, and get a little bit of run down the corner but when somebody fills that gap I just don't think they knew they were three wide, and it just it created this. This is on board with Kimmel. All hard, hard, hit. hard hits. A bunch of cars hit real hard. Thank goodness for the safer barriers. And a lot of really good cars started in basically the third row. Took out at least four contenders. The 55 of Gregson, Weatherman. The 78, Kimmel the 69, Sergeant the 77 was collected. And we are going to go red for the major cleanup. Mike, just about every recent restart, Casey Kane is at it. Oh, trouble front straight away. Three wide and two cars pile hard into the wall. That's a terrible wreck. Mark Martin got into the, I think it was maybe the 43 of Almirola. They came together and uh, that really created this huge crash. They were three wide at the start-finish line, Daryl, and none of those three drivers would give. That's Jeff Gordon, along with Eric Almarola and Mark Martin in a hard crash. Bobby Labonte also has damage. You see Almarola. Uh, here's Jeff Gordon, Almarola right in there. And here's, and Mark, here's Martin Mark Martin just right ahead here. of them. And I think what Almarola does is Almarola comes under Mark as they come out of the turn four area and get down here into the trioval. You see you're going to get three wide right here. They start down through here. Almarola's got a nice run. He's up along the side of Martin. Jeff Gordon up on the outside over here. And right here, Jeff, it looks like Mark maybe gets a little loose or maybe cuts down trying to make that dog leg and gets into the side of Almarola. And I thought these cars were going to go over right here. They got up in the air pretty good. And Mark came up into Ricky Stenhouse, Casey Mears, and Bobby Labonte, Labonte involved. Yeah, this is Stenhouse down here, Bobby Labonte down here. Noah right there. Oh, contact again. Josh Perry in the eight. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Slammed into the side of him, and he spins Sage Carib into the wall. What a move by that yellow car of Jones to miss the wreck, and here comes the rest of the field. They can't see. It's smoke and dust all the way across. More coming in too fast, and more contact. A huge impact to Tyler Reddick in that 48. Drivers going through, trying to get through, but couldn't see, and a lot of contact. And we see Josh Balicki taking the Sargento billboard with him. I don't know if that's what Sargento had in mind, but good coverage. Good so coverage. much damage. Look at, Look this. at all these yeah. cars. And, not, and some cars rolled away with significant damage as well. Remember, this track is only 30 oh. feet long, 30 feet wide. See Balicki making his move. We saw Moffat and the smoke coming up from that. Daniel Hemrick, a lot of damage there. This might have be one of the biggest road course wrecks we have seen in yeah. some time. We talked a lot about spotters and blind areas of the racetrack, and I think that's what you saw. Fast Ryan Truex was on those older left side tires, and they able to make a lot of progress. Here's why we're under yellow. Cody ah. Coughlin through the grass and then bang. Man, that's a serious change of direction, isn't it? Hope Cody's okay. That was a hard hit. So fortunate. You see. Bubba Wallace was trying to get through the middle. He makes contact with Cody. Fortunately, Cody hits the safer barrier down there on the inside. Thank you to Michigan International Speedway for having that safer barrier there. How about riding along with Cody Coughlin? This is going to be a jarring ride. Yeah, just... Outside, 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 outside. He's trying to move around and take advantage the best he could of that restart. Had dropped off of the truck ahead of him a little bit. Oh, look what... Boy, so thankful the way Coughlin bounced back out into the racing surface area that uh, no one else ran into him as he came back up onto the track. Yeah, the last truck through there, Norm Benning does a nice job avoiding. You see Norm there with the six truck going to the outside. Watch this. Unbelievable. 
concussion. All four tires off the ground with that impact. I'm not sure what was going on. She sparked there for a lap or two. Whoa, oh, here Stewart goes Stewart around. around. Into, into Biffle. Tony Stewart goes around. And caution waves there again. More cars. Kurt Busch and Greg Biffle, a hard hit there. It's like the 18 and the 14 made some contact. Looked like smoke kind of drifted up in front of Kyle Busch, and they made a little contact, and that turned the 14 right down the hill. Jeff Gordon, another near miss. And Kurt Busch all torn up, not sure he could even see the 16. Yeah, and where Coming he hit off that. the wall here. Pow. Where the 16, I guess the 16 or 4, I don't know which one hit at the end of the wall. I think the 16 did. Darrell, did it look like the way that the 14, Tony Stewart, went across the front of the 18? He just got loose right there? It did, Larry. I, 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 I'm not sure they made contact, but the air off of the 16 is what sucked the 14 around, and that is an incredibly hard hit. My gosh, I'm glad. Oh, and then here, here comes yeah, neither Kurt. Had, neither could control their car. No, actually, like does look come out. Long Ben Rhodes is ahead here, though, Vince. Yeah. Like and, that's crashing. They're crashing. Is the yellow out? And remember, it's not the caution flag waving. It's it's when they flip the switch to turn the lights on. See Nemechek and Friesen both sliding through the infield travel grass. De Benedetto was ahead of Rhodes, whether or not they deemed he had gone below the yellow line to get ahead of. Risco with him in second. Here comes Matt De Benedetto. He wants third, but he's got to get around AJ Allmendinger to do it. Bubba Wallace off course. One of the cars spinning, leading turn six. Ford contact on the straightaway, and there's more calamity on the back straightaway. Cars everywhere on the back stretch. Austin Dillon, hard contact. That was the result of that curve. It's like Michael McDowell with the car that got spun around. Well, here you go. Guys hadn't seen the racetrack in this configuration. Through here side by side. See Bubba Wallace, he bails out. But huge jump right there by McDowell. Just, they haven't been through this track like this before without that curb. It's causes all these issues. It's easy to say, well, you know it's there, but vision just isn't what you think it is when you're following other cars. Watch these cars hit it. Blaney hit it a little bit. Further back, look at that launch. Around he goes. Crazy. See Cole Custer in a wall. Oh, the 02 Perkins gets down the racetrack into the right rear of the 92. Just getting a shove. It turned him left into the 92. Brent Moffitt involved in the 25. A lot of pushing and shoving right here. And, you know, cars aren't driving. When you get pushed like that, the cars don't drive straight. And they're just banging into each other. And eventually yeah. they just run out of room. Look at that right there. Cars all the way in the air. Look like Jordan Anderson. Oh, oh, and Gustine is going around. Ooh, hard contact. A big hit for Gustine, and the caution is out. You can see how it, he's got a truck right on his back end, maybe a little bit of shove there, but I think that the front end was light on him. You know, he was already heading up that way, and that push into the back was just more than he could handle at that moment. That's Gilliland in see the him, four. See him kind of bouncing up the track, and then that, that that push from Gilliland was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. And Gilliland had nowhere to go either. He had someone on his back bumper and boy, that's a mm. man. That's a frightening feeling seeing that wall coming at that speed. Believe Take me. Take a look at the wreck that happened behind them. David Reagan hard into the wall. And quite a few cars caught up after the fact. Oh, that's a big impact. Now I understand why NASCAR wanted to roll safety personnel. That's a big impact. Car essentially went underneath another car, another impact from behind. So, you know, again, listen, I know race fans want these things to end under green, but 
you can't fault NASCAR in this situation. No. That's heavy impact with two cars right there, and it only gets worse as this wreck continues. Blake Cook and the 11 involved. David Reagan bouncing around like a pinball. Six of Darrell Wallace Jr. shooting across the track through the infield. Joey Gase in the 52. This impact right here with the 11. On the outside wall. And then another impact right there. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, again. We want it to end at the start finish line, no doubt. Gotta keep an eye on the flagman as well. They're not they're, they're not gonna make it. Oh and, crash! And, and the red and black flag was out. None of them made it back, and on top of that, the big one right here in the trioval. Holy cow. Remember Landon Castle took off first. He's in it. Hard, hard contact. There's Daniel Suarez, Blake Cook, the eight car. Dale Jr. is able to drive through it in the season opener, like I said, in three hours and 20 minutes. And here's Kyle Busch who says, there's 12 more. I really don't have to worry well, about it. Well, that's tongue in cheek. I don't, I don't think he's cl clapping for that. You see that car, so Carlos Contreras, that black car in the middle of the racetrack right there was slow. And see, look Kyle at, Larson's going to squeeze Blake Cook. I think it that's was actually Suarez. Suarez was trying to get yeah. through the middle, and he just wow. misjudged the, the room he had to make that move and cause that crash. That was a... That was a rookie who was trying to understand exactly how to go about qualifying here at Daytona under this format and was in a position, got himself in a position that he, he couldn't get out of. You could see he just cut up, clipped the front of Blake Cook's car and caused the big yeah. crash. Was trying to get in behind Kyle Larson in the 42 car. Didn't quite have Four tires. Look at him. There it is. He's there on Kyle Larson. Austin to the bobbles just a little bit. Oh, now he's on the outside. Chastain's got him. Four wide. Oh, oh they're wrecking. Unbelievable. Did the caution come out? Did they get the yes. White? No. Caution before the white. Caution. We will line up and do it wow. again. Oh, my gosh. All those guys going for it coming off the turn four. Austin Dillon looked like he was in the perfect position. Well, he was. <laughs> he was. And much like Chase Briscoe, Austin Dillon had a chance to try to win it, and he took it. Caution for sure before the white flag. I was behind him, and I couldn't even see him, so uh, I don't know what could have been different about that, or if, you know, if, you know, the having having windshields makes it kind of tough, and it and the glare makes it ten times worse. And um, you know, I'm glad uh, you know he's all right, and um, I'm not sure what happened to him, but you know, I feel like if you're broke or stopped, you need to be off the racing line and down to the bottom, but um, I guess I, I can only... Side by side for the lead. Suarez on the inside, Hamlin on the outside. Haley on that outside line, top of three. He's got some help with him. My God, oh, oh he did well to go, the 11, now also caught up in it. The whole Haley. Three. The three of Austin Dillon squeezes through. He is in front. And look at virtually the only car to clear it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That I've never seen racing that intense in Daytona. Never. And Martin Shrex Jr. is going to gain some spots here. You're trying to go into the middle there on the 31, on the 16. Oh, the, the 99 just loses it. Denny Rex. Well, the 31 just lost it too by yeah. himself in that top lane. I wonder if it was yes. Reigns. Well, yeah, I mean, both leaders are in clean air and they yeah. both catch their car. That yeah. tells me that there's something down there that's reducing grip. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, guys, there were a lot of drivers saying, hey, it's raining. Why are we racing right now? And that could have been the result of what happened there. Watch this 31, right? Watch him. He's is, is a clear indicator. Inside lane, very top. All right, as they roll through here, See right there, he's sideways. Yeah. The 11 sideways. The track three. is wet. Parker. And Jeff, exactly. His father was telling him it's raining, and then after that all went down, Justin Haley came on the radio and said it was raining. So, of course, there was no grip down there. The three with 16th going into that wreck. Now, that makes sense, Dale, because all three cars, the first car bottom, first car middle, first car top. You nope. see the rain falling. They all go down in the corner, and all three lose grip. They're the first ones in there. And we don't know if these guys have grip. The 47 has no grip because he's seven feet in the air. And the three gets to the apron. 
And it's such a, you know, it's uh, such a tough call. I mean, we're, you can't tell it's raining down there. We're, 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 you know, we're right here next to the NASCAR tower. I know they have spotters out there, but obviously it came really quick. Down, mid, 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 down. Like, look at this right here. I mean, so yeah, Dale, you and I, the, the first replay, we were like, we don't know what possibly happened. And look at the three at the bottom, that greenish, tealish, and black car sneaking through. It was the whole front of the field. Pouring rain. It's just a rain is so fast. Everything's fine, and then they drive right into that shower. It, it wasn't raining on yeah. the short shoot heading to turn no. one. None of these guys had any any idea. In front of his teammates, and they're they're off the gas. Like save it, save it. Trying to help him, but they're all packing up between behind each other with nowhere to go. That's a car owner's worst nightmare, right there. Yeah, got three of them all of Sammy Smith. So the 20 here just spins harmlessly down to the inside. There's a big contact. That's going to bend the rear end housing in that 77. Won't be surprised to see that car go behind the wall. Crazy four races for John Hunter. Armadinger with a big run. Noah with a block. Armadinger being pushed by Jeremy Clemens. And wow. All four tires off the ground with that impact. That's a huge hit. Nine back to the right. AJ kind of goes down the track below the yellow line as he drives across the back bumper of that car. It spins that nine out. There's nothing you can do as the lead car when the back when the car pushing you is moving. But he's going to be mirror driving. Oh, Stewart's my. trying he to squeeze right there in there. Eddie. Get he's that hand. shoving to the bottom. Oh, that hand. Just wanted to touch him, man. Just wanted to touch him. Can't get him to the high side. side. Here he comes. No, there he, he turns him. He turns him. Oh, my God. Here comes Stewart to the checkered Tony flag. Stewart. And another car gets you know, in the backside. You know. It's Casey Kane. And they're scattering oh everywhere as they come to the line. Some of these guys hit hard, man. Oh, and one of them was really Kyle Busch. They're still hitting hard. Man. That's an ugly finish. Kick to the outside. It's Blaney leading the field down the back straightaway for the final time. Here comes Suarez. He'll turn Harvick. The entire pack is crashing. Blaney will get through with the lead. Chris Busher to second as the pack will crash in a shower of sparks and flames. Everybody up into the outside wall and sliding down the banking in turn three here in Daytona. Caution on the speedway. Ryan Blaney will see the caution flag and the checkered flag. And Ryan Blaney and Todd. Gordon go back to back. They win at Michigan last week. They win tonight here at Daytona. We go to Pit Road. It's indeed, the celebration is on here on Pit Road. The crew jumping up and down, screaming and hollering. Crew members jumping up, grabbing Tom Gordon, congratulating them as they go. It is Team Penske for the second time in a row. They are going to victory lane this time. A win here at Daytona International Speedway. Tyler Reddick comes home in position number seven. Austin Dillon is still out on the racetrack. I would say unofficially, would you agree, Tyler Reddick will race uh, for a championship beginning next week at Darlington. Ryan Blaney winning. Busher second. This is unofficial. Bubba Wallace third. Ryan Newman, Ryan Priest, top five at Daytona. What a race. Five car. Let's see. There's uh, Jeff. Oh wow! Jeff Green breaks loose through the grass, then up the track. Kind of a strange crash, really. Joe check almost. In, I mean, right in the door. Looked like Schrader did a good job getting around it in the 21. And left those guys with absolutely no place to go. And we see what happened to the left rear of the 45. The 99 car just knocked off the tire and the quarter penalty. Trouble after the checkered flag. They're crashing down in turn one. You're right, you're right, you're right. Walk it down, walk it down, you're right. Oh, wow. 
Ryan Reed into Joe Nemechek hard. As people tried to slow down and sort it out down toward turn one, there was contact and contact and contact. This is after the checkers. That was Junior who hit Kyle Larson and set that off, it looks like. Oh, that was a hard lick right there for Ryan Reed. Yeah. After you get to the checker flag, you think you made it. Now this happens. This is a tough one to, to take. Joe just kind of minded his own business. Yeah. So it was Ryan Reed. Tangled up in there. When he came from turn four toward the checker, Junior pulled out three wide and made a three wide low move at the finish line. You see him here coming. Well, that's after the checkers. But coming to the checkers, he made a three wide move.